So as many of you know, every single time I use the attack eradicator, I like to speed it up and turn it into an assault rifle and not much has changed. I made a slow pace build last season and it was good and all, but not my personal preference. I just keep improving upon my AR build and that's exactly what we're doing today. Not necessarily targeting all of the recoil statistics, but speeding it up, making it more viable when it comes to medium and close range. For our first attach in here, I have the Tactique Brute Stock. This thing is ugly. I'll be the first to say an ugly freaking stock, but it's gonna give you aiming out of sway, gun kick control, fire aiming stability, and recoil control. What it's also doing now that it doesn't tell you is giving you aim down sight speed as well. So not only are we getting 15% of the gun kick, 4% of the horizontally and vertical recoil control, also getting an increase to our aim down sight speed here. For the rear grip, I have the FSS Combat Grip for fire aiming stability, gun kick control, and recoil control. Pretty self-explanatory. It is still an LMG and I am still trying to use it like an AR. So you do need recoil attachments like this one in order to make it easier to hit your shots. It's no slouch either. We're gonna get 10% to the gun kick along with 7% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control. For our magazine here, we have the 45 round mag, the most important attachment of the build when it comes to turning it into an assault rifle. I'm gonna hide my camera. I'm definitely not gonna go through all these statistics. You guys can pause and look at all of the statistics on the screen if you want. But the big one here is going to be the ADS at 12% and the sprint to fire speed at 24%. But you can also see we're getting a massive percentage there to also ADS movement speed. Our next attachment is what I like to call a well-rounded one. We're going to get ADS, recoil, sprint to fire, and gun kick here, gaining a lot of everything we kind of need. So nothing crazy though. 7% of the gun kick, 8% of the vertical recoil control. Still important. That's a good percentage there. Along with 6% and 6% to the ADS and sprint to fire. You're not gonna get any crazy values with this attachment, but it is going to touch on everything we need it to cover. And for our final attachment is a Scratch 20L suppressor. I've definitely been playing around with this one more and more on my assault rifles and LMGs because it gives you fire aiming stability, which is the visual shake on the weapon. As you know, I targeted quite a bit of that with the stock, the rear grip, and now the muzzle, which is going to eliminate all of the shake on the weapon. And only a sacrifice of 1% to ADS, which is basically nothing at the end of the day. As always, here's all of your attachments on the screen. If you guys wanted to pause to copy this one down, we're going to slide over to sub base for today's gameplay. And you can see how AR like this thing really is. So copy these down, make sure you give it a try. And as always, here's the rest of your loadout on the screen. If you guys also wanted to copy this down, like I said, we're heading over to sub base. And I think you guys should watch that through to see what this thing is capable of. See exactly how I play with it so you guys can get a grasp of how maybe you should play with it. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me. Let's get into it. So I've been playing a lot of Cold War actually to get prepared for Black Ops 6. I've been playing Cold War and uploading onto my second channel again. If you guys haven't checked that out and you guys are interested in Treyarch or Cold War content, make sure you guys go take a peek at it. But the long story short of things is, is I am so much better at those games. I don't know why. I've just always been like a Treyarch fanboy always have been probably always will be i like black ops 2 black ops 1 were always my preferred over the modern warfares i don't know i, I built my fan base on that premise actually that i just truthfully enjoy Treyarch games more so what i got for you guys today attack eradicator Built out like an AR, like usual. That's normally how I build this thing out. Truthfully, I just find more success when I build it a little faster. Over on Subbase. They've been doing a lot of blueprints in the battle pass. They actually, look good. Like, this is the base blueprint. This isn't like the Black Cell one. And I am, I will say, I'm impressed. Most of the time, these normal blueprints are, well, lackluster. You don't really care about them. So when it comes down to it, if they continue this pace, even through to Black Ops 6, I mean, Treyarch always does blueprints better. That's how it goes. Treyarch always does. Everything from their paid blueprints, they do master crafts. Their blueprints are always better just by default. All I can think about is Black Ops 6 though. Like that's all I got going for me at the moment. That's what I'm excited about. I know that's kind of not a good thing because I still got quite a few more seasons of Modern Warfare 3. Like we got till season six.
And all I can think about is Black Ops. It's just not a good thing, bro. It's really not. But we haven't had a Treyarch game in so long, it's hard for me to not focus on it. Treyarch just always just kills it. Their games are always so good. Like, even though Cold War didn't have the best reception in the world, a lot of people disliked it. I don't feel that way. One of my favorites, actually, in the franchise. This guy's right here. I knew, you know what's crazy is I knew I made a mistake. I really did. I knew I made that mistake the second I did it. I was about to say this other guy's right there. Oh well, we got plenty of time to lock in a DNA bomb here. I don't want to hit the swarm as usual. That's, it's too early for all that. I do want to get in the back and make sure that we don't flip these spawns out. I'm going to go over here. Switching mags. These were my... Yep. Dropped him. I don't know where the guy is on the hill. He's probably right there. I don't... Oh. It might have been that field upgrade, actually. Reloading. Yeah, right there. I just featured the downside for you of this thing, actually. Dropping ammo. It really isn't a great long-range weapon. I just can't give this up right now. I can't give up the back or they'll spawn right behind me. A little bit of a choke on my end. I think I was on a 19 gun streak. There we go. I could go swarm now. This would be a better hill for it. I'm thinking I might. A lot of time in the game, so I could just hold off here. I'm not sure what I want to do. In one way. All right, we got a VTOL. I'm going to back up here for a second. We're going to hit that VTOL. I might have to hit the swarm as well. I don't want to overlap it. I wanted uh, that VTOL to... Yep. I wanted it to give me one kill so I get the advanced UAV off of it. But I was able to figure it out without it. I need to clear this. I'm on a 15. Guy's doing something. He was calling in something. This guy spawned behind me. I'm going to leave him. I'm going to go this way because this is where all the people are. So that guy's a cruise missile. That's what he was calling in. I'm out of bullets. Need my ears. There we go. Requesting close air. Target marked. All right, let's hit the advanced. Let's hit the swarm and let's hit this VTOL. Target area marked. You're cleared hot. Solid Secure the target area. 
again out of bullets doesn't matter freaking swarm's gonna do it for me I can't move forward. Another swarm's in now. Oh, I'm lagging. We're really lagging. Can't even call that VTOL in. There's a guy below me for sure. Another guy down here. Oh, the swarm is just doing everything. I mean, my goodness. Yep, bro. I don't know what I was expecting when I got three swarms in a row. I've been talking about taking this thing off and I still might, man. I mean, this thing gets me so many kills, which is awesome for the KD and stuff. But man, it ends up getting to the point where you can't even find people. 92 kills. Went from a choke to freaking triple swarm, man. W.